Okay, thank you. And well, thank you for the the speak of Andrea. And it's very actually I heard Andrea say that every it's not a technical talk. Actually, I heard a lot, including myself, from the morning to now. Everybody is not a technical talk. So I have to say that yes, this is a technical talk. And. I'm glad to see that there are so so few people here, so little people here. Okay, and and before I start, if you you can also refer to the you can also refer to the oh sorry the uh, sorry and sorry. The here, and you can get the presentation here, and also you can get the down to the link to so to a source. Okay, now we go back to the talk. Hello, this is Ima Cat, and I. Some people has already stayed here in the morning from the morning. So I'm from the Taiwan Open Office Liberals Community, and I'm one a member of the Open Office PMC Project Management Committee, and also a member of Women in Force in Taiwan. And I believe that I heard a lot of talk about today about the basic, open basic development. And I'm very glad that since last time I, in, I attend such a, such a conference that's mostly, uh, mostly about, the, are about the office source itself, but less about the, the but very rare are about the extensions and basic. And yeah, it's really cool. Actually, it connects it connects programming with everybody's daily routine. And I create I create basic toolkit application for all kinds of all kinds of jobs. For example, the count the counting sheet that I use that I said that the counting sheet actually including the counting sheet for my for our for my trade trip here. And also, me not sign up book. For example, the in server sign book. For this sign book, I use basic to create. Eh? For this attendees list, I use basic to create a sign book. Yes, I use basic to create sign book. Also, um, I use it to create mosaic spreadsheets, and yeah, I use it to create mosaic spreadsheets, and I use it to create. Actually, I use it to create geometrical painting. This is some work I attend. I attend to a contest of design contest to create some uh, some graphic using this basic image, and I use I use basic use macros to create this, and yeah, you can see that it's actually screw, screw, screwing around with its with its head, yeah. And also, I create piano. For example, piano. Who is piano? Oh, it's too big now. I create piano and send to send to my friends, our local community. Say that this piano is broken and can anyone fix it? Broken means that it can be played, and can anyone fix it? Fix it? And it's in the uh, it's in the Christmas time, so the actually the, it's a quest, and the answer is would be that. Oh, sorry, the sound is too small. Yeah, and afterwards I can I can just yeah, and afterwards I can just play. And then it unlock this, unlock this piano. Eh, sorry.
And also, I create Christmas cards. Yeah, I create Christmas cards. <laughs> yes. Actually, it's, it, you, you can say it's a routine work. It's not a routine work. <laughs> yeah, basic is cool, but actually, in the meanwhile, and also the Pokemon, Pokemon Go IV calculator, I, I talked about this morning. But I still basic, it suck, basic sucks. Since, for example, if I reinstall my system and I forgot to export it, before it export this basic macros and I lost everything. And because it really is, sits inside some hidden directory in your hard disk. Also, I can, so if I can, really cannot synchronize my basic macro between my laptop, my office PC, and my home PC, unless I keep it exporting and exporting everything every day. So this sucks. And finally, the ID itself sucks. And the macros are exported as XML, so I cannot do, th do complicated things that ID does not support. For example, regular expression search and replace, yeah. Or using grip or AWK to do some code refactoring. And many more, more. So I start to wonder, is it possible that I can write basic macros outside of basic ID? And what would I need, what would I need if I want to do this, if I want to do write basic macros outside of basic ID? First, the first thought is that I can keep a, a source directory of a directory of source files. Whenever I update my source, then I copy and paste by hand manually into the basic ID. But this won't, actually won't work because it really this, it really sucks. So the other the other the other solution would be: Is it possible if I can create a tool to do this? To the robot to do it, whenever I update my, my micro sources, it copy and paste it into the basic ID. And to do this, I have to be able to read and update basic macros with basic macro with you and know. So you know, so this reminds me of something I similar I've done before. Just a calc mosaic. Let's see calc mosaic. Yes, and yes, this is, I, I, I create my, my purchase cock mosaic, and sorry. In my purchase cock mosaic, I create a mosaic of each frame in a video, each frame in a video. And after that, I inserted, injected a piece of macro into the system, into a document, so that I can play it. So, in common, that's why I did is to find a, for a document there's a property basic libraries, and I find out the basic libraries, and then I can to manage the macros in, in the document. But now I'm working on the system source system system storage. For system and user basic macro storage, they are stored together in the at a different location, the application script library container service, and I can use Surface Manager to create it. The, uh, the, below, the code below is Python. And then this container has, has, has a XM, X name as an interface, so I can use has by name or get by name to test and obtain a library, a basic library. 
and then come for Batch Library, the Batch Library is an X name container. I can use all, all these things, get by name, replace by name, insert by name, and remove by name to match the to match the models inside. And the uh, obtain model with get by name is actually only a string, text string. And that contain, contains one or more basic macros as sub subroutines. So the logic is, logic is actually very simple. Simple. Synchronize between files and uh, files and the basic storage. When update when I want to update the basic ma mo module, that's the most thing I do. I, if I found missing basic modules and I add it and replace the updated basic macros and delete the delete the obsolete macro mo modules. And when I want to update the source files, this is real, but I do it more. I also do it often. I add a missing source files and replace updated source files and delete the obsolete source files. Yeah. So actually, this is quite simple. And directly here, and I wanted to put in a test library. Okay, it says added. The four modules are added. So if I go to the tools, macros, organize, organize macros. Hmm? Tools, macros, organize macros, basic. You can see that the test is added here. Yeah, the test, the four modules is added. Once you again, I play it again. First, I remove the test library. And then I run it again. So it is added. Yeah. So now, if I want to delete, I want to. So if I want to, for example, I comment out this line, okay, then it will, tell, it will just tell you update the updated part, okay, or if I remove this, okay, you also Add the missing part and get the uh, and remove the load and remove the isolated part. And also, I can I can also download this this take these sources. Yes. So with this tool, I can simply I can simply work with among different computers. And what's the good what's the good of using this? What's the good of synchronizing the working out of? Also with this, I can work with different text editors. For example, I can even use NetBeans or Escapes to do to develop my macros. And what's the good of it? First of all, I, since I now I can now I can put it on me in my home own directory. I can store my source file in whatever my I want. For example, the cloud storage the, the directory, and use cloud sync services, and access your source code everywhere. And secondly, I can apply so uh, version control system. For example, CVS, Subversion, Git, or Mercury. Okay, and I can. Yeah, I can use it to manage my source code. And then I can develop, developer can host your service on, the, on all kinds of popular ho source hosting website. 
serve service, for example, GitHub or SourceForge or Coplex, Microsoft Coplex, or for example, Launchpad, Alit, or Savanat. Yes. And also, another benefit is that I can apply, I can apply build tools to automate extension building. Mostly, I believe mostly people are still, and mostly people are building extension with the BGRR add-on tools. And that, that tool is actually great, but it, it takes time, and if you are really doing very con intense development, it sucks, it, 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 it kills you. So, with build tools, I can, for example, use make, or use end, Apache end, or use CMake, and you can automate this process for intense development. And then, additionally, you see we can adapt bridge project layout rules or temporary and templates to simplify uh, automated project management. And for example, for my Pokemon Go IV calculator, it is it lives entirely in my Dropbox, so I can access it everywhere in my home office, in my office PC, in my home PC, and in my laptop. And also, I don't have to worry about if my hard disk dies. It's still there. Also, I use Git to, to for version control. And I host my project on GitHub. And also, I use NT Apache N. I choose N because N cross platform. And I choose N to, to build and release my project. So this is the project, this is the project rule project structure of my Pokemon Go IV calculator. The OST directory is just the directory, just the same directory as the as when you unzip the unzip the intake extension. And also there's the Pokemon Go IV that's the main source. And also I can have a build.xml, I can have the readme, I can have build version and I can host it on GitHub. So you are welcome to try it yeah, and it's on P GitHub and also on PYPI, and you can just find o OBA, OBA, Office Basic Sync. And you are welcome to try it. Thank you. Do you have any question? Question are welcome. I hate if there is no question, you know. <laughs> any question? Oh, I hate it. Okay, thank you.